Hi, my name is Sharon Chabet. I am doing International Master of Soil Science and Global Change, IMSOGLO, uh, specializing in physical land resource. Uh, currently, I am doing my thesis. Uh, my thesis is titled Evolution of Soil Structural Stability in a Long-Term Experiment in Ask of Denmark. Uh, so basically, I'm trying to look at the rate of change, how the soil structure is changing over time. From so this some the my soil samples are archived soil samples from 1981 to 2019, and during that period, uh, the land was under cropping and basically uh, uh, barley. Uh, barley was being grown, so it was under cropping. And then in 20, I have samples from 2021, whereby the land was converted to semi-natural grassland. And it will be, of course, important to see how the soil structure responds to land use change from a cropping system to a grassland system. Uh, so to do that, I have to do two tests. Uh, one of them is wet aggregate stability test, and the other test will, uh, is clay dispersibility. So for the wet aggregate stability test, we are doing it on air-dried soils uh, that has been saved uh, between 1 to 2 mm. And with that, we are using the Enken Cup uh, wet sieving apparatus to do that. So basically this one is quite important because it introduces a bit of dis destructive uh, force. So your soil samples are a bit uh, disrupted and see how this mi uh, minor disruption will have uh, will affect your, your aggregates. So with that disruption then probably you will lose some aggregates uh, that will pass through this. Uh, it's less than 250 mm. So whatever goes beyond the sieve to the aluminium can is unstable aggregates and whatever is left is stable aggregate. So that's basically in a nutshell what wet aggregate stability test is. So in my thesis, uh, this is only possible by the help of my supervisors who have been quite helpful. I'm working with uh, Professor uh, Lars Munkholam Yule, I'm sure I didn't say the name correctly, and also with Johannes Lud, I Jensen. And also I have another uh, amazing supervisor in Ghent by the name of Professor Wim Cornelius. So that's the team I'm working with and I'm very excited to have them in my team. I hope they're happy to have me in their team.